Hey there and welcome to Juicy Celeb Talks. Recently, the FBI uncovered a significant wire fraud scheme involving Tiffany Henyard, and the revelations are far worse than anticipated. But what caused the entire operation to collapse? Henyard was also exclusively seen reacting to her prison sentence after the exposure of her elaborate scheme, and it's fair to say that her situation is looking bleak. Stay tuned for all the details. While Dalton's finances were spiraling out of control, Tiffany Henyard was living a lavish lifestyle, flaunting her wealth in ways that were completely inappropriate for a small-town mayor. She indulged in luxury and maintained a million-dollar security detail. Clearly, something wasn't adding up. Now labeled as the most corrupt mayor, Tiffany Henyard has fled the country after embezzling millions of taxpayer dollars. The local community was in an uproar following a tense town hall meeting, with heated outbursts stemming from Special Agent Lori Lightfoot's review of Dalton's financial standing. As of May 31 ST, the town's general fund showed a negative balance of $3.65 million, a shocking figure. Lightfoot's investigation revealed suspicious spending, including a staggering $40,000 spent on Amazon purchases in just one day, with a significant amount of money unaccounted for. Following the revelation, Henyard disappeared, reportedly escaping with $3.6 million of taxpayer funds. The scandal stirred fierce debates online, with many criticizing the community for electing Henyard based on her race, labeling her as an entitled individual. After the unexpected passing of longtime Mayor Frank Zuccarelli, Henyard made a bold entrance positioning herself as the town's savior with grand promises and ambitious plans. In the beginning, she was somewhat of a local celebrity, attending events, cutting ribbons, and making it clear that she was in control. For a while, it seemed that Dalton needed a fresh face with innovative ideas, and she appeared to be just that. However, things took a dark turn as cracks began to show in her administration. Henyard's leadership style quickly became confrontational, especially with anyone daring to challenge her authority. It soon became apparent that she didn't value collaboration or open communication. Instead, she preferred to make decisions unilaterally and wasn't afraid to remove anyone who stood in her way. This authoritarian approach caused rifts within the town's government, leading to conflicts with the town council and other officials. Furthermore, the extravagant promises she made seemed to require a limitless supply of funds, and Dalton's financial health began to deteriorate. Over time, Henyard's spending spiraled out of control. She began living more like the mayor of a large city rather than the leader of a modest town. Rumors surfaced about her luxurious purchases of designer clothes, expensive vacations, and an extensive police security detail, all costing the town a staggering amount of money. When questioned about these expenditures, Henyard either avoided direct answers or deflected. During one particularly heated exchange, she dodged questions about a trip to Las Vegas. What is that? No comment. She responded when pressed about the taxpayer dollars used to fund her trips. When further probed about whether she had flown first class to Las Vegas, her evasive responses only fueled more suspicion. In the face of growing scrutiny, Henyard tried to distract from her actions by making bizarre statements, once even declaring, Y'all say Martin Luther King had a dream, but guess what? I am the dream. Henyard's erratic behavior, coupled with her blatant misuse of power, left many in the community disillusioned. Some viewed her as someone willing to destroy the lives of the very people she was supposed to represent for her own personal gain.
Critics began to see her not as a civic leader but as a tyrant with no regard for ethical governance. As Dalton's financial situation worsened, Henyard seemed to treat the town's budget as her personal piggy bank, withdrawing money whenever she pleased. Stories of her reckless spending, including thousands spent in a single day on Amazon for luxury items and gourmet meals, became legendary. Meanwhile, she ignored the basic needs of the town. The contrast between Henyard's extravagant lifestyle and Dalton's economic struggles became increasingly stark. While Henyard was living in luxury, Dalton's finances were in shambles. The town, once financially stable, began facing severe budgetary issues. What had been a substantial reserve of funds quickly turned into a growing deficit. Residents started noticing that vital services were being cut, maintenance was falling behind, and their overall quality of life was deteriorating. The town's financial collapse hit its peak when it was revealed that Dalton owed over $3. Five million, a staggering amount for such a small community. The news was shocking, and it became clear that this wasn't just a case of poor budgeting decisions, this was a full-blown financial disaster. As Henyard continued her excessive spending, tensions in the community grew. Citizens demanded accountability, and many called for her resignation. During one particularly volatile town meeting, Henyard lashed out at the Board of Trustees after they called for the town's financial books to be opened and for a federal investigation into the misuse of funds. The atmosphere was tense as Henyard rejected the Board's decisions and her refusal to cooperate only deepened suspicions. Rumors about Henyard's lavish spending habits had circulated long before the FBI began its investigation. Her penchant for high-end clothing, luxurious vacations, and frequent indulgences was well known. Residents began to question how she was financing such an extravagant lifestyle on a public servant's salary. Many started to suspect that taxpayer money was being misused to fund her lavish expenses, especially as more stories emerged about her questionable financial decisions. The situation reached a boiling point when it became clear that Dalton's financial collapse was directly linked to Henyard's reckless spending. What had once been a town in relatively good financial standing was now facing millions in debt, a crisis that couldn't be ignored. Outside authorities quickly became involved, and soon the FBI launched an official investigation into the town's finances. The investigation took a serious turn when the FBI issued two critical subpoenas that changed the course of the case. The first subpoena focused solely on Henyard's personal financial dealings, with investigators aiming to determine whether her private business ventures had any overlap with her role as mayor. They were particularly interested in uncovering any potential conflicts of interest or unethical behavior that might have influenced her decisions while in office. The second subpoena targeted Dalton's municipal financial records, with the goal of identifying any patterns of mismanagement. This was a crucial step because it expanded the investigation beyond just Henyard, putting the entire town's financial health under scrutiny. The FBI wasn't just looking into Henyard's actions, they were also investigating other town officials and any businesses that had dealings with the town during her tenure. This broader investigation suggested that the scope of the corruption might extend far beyond Henyard, hinting at a deeper, more systemic issue within Dalton's government. As the investigation unfolded, former allies of Henyard began speaking out against her. One of her former partners, Carmen Carroll, publicly condemned Henyard's behavior, accusing her of acting in a manipulative and ruthless manner throughout her time as mayor. Carroll described Henyard's leadership style as abusive, 
stating that she had used her position to consolidate power and increase her influence at the expense of the town and its residents. Carol wasn't alone in her criticism. Many others who had worked with Henyard began to come forward, sharing stories of retaliation, wrongful terminations, and deceit. They painted a picture of a leader who was more interested in personal gain than in serving her community. As more victims came forward, the extent of Henyard's misuse of power became even clearer. The FBI's investigation into Henyard and Dalton's finances continues to unravel new details about the depth of the corruption. What started as a probe into Henyard's spending has evolved into a comprehensive review of the entire town's financial dealings during her time in office. The investigation now casts a wider net, suggesting that Henyard may not have been the only corrupt official involved in this scandal. In the end, only time will tell what the full fallout of this situation will be. As the investigation progresses, the residents of Dalton are left hoping for justice and accountability. They want to see those responsible for the town's financial collapse held accountable and to restore the trust that has been broken.